Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn. Welcome back. Today, ladies and gentlemen, moon or bust. You said it best, you said it right. We're going to the moon, people. Who wants to come? It's gonna be me, it's gonna be Val, probably. I mean, she hasn't been doing so well. She's murdered a number of tourists. Um, and then Jeb had to come in and clean it up for her, but, um, you know, this will just be her going to the moon, so I think maybe, maybe she's just sort of a loner. You know, there's some people who just don't work with others well. They don't play well in a group. I think Val might be one of those. So we're gonna send her to the moon and see if she can't do something that doesn't involve the death of countless innocents. Ooh, let's also collect some science data from space around Kerbin for a contra- uh, I can't. Why can't I? What, what's, what's the problem? What, what am I, what, what are my current contracts that are in my way? Ferry two tourists safely to their destination. Oh, come on! Uh... Uh... Hey, what's going on? We're stuck. We're stuck, okay? These work. We know that this works, okay? We, we've flown this ship before. This is a glitch. This is a glitch. We got stuck to the pad, okay? Just stay stuck to the pad and just burn out and then we'll... In fact, can I recover this now? Yeah, recover the vessel. Okay, eh, that was just wasted money. What the heck? What's going on? Why are we sticking to the pad? I know, I just double checked the thrust to weight ratio on this is fine. They should be going up. They're both burning at the same time. There's no excusing this. You're just wasting my money. You better work this time. Sun's going down. We're losing the light in three, two, one, go. God, I still want to destage something else. I'm so angry, I want to just blow things up. But I can't, because it's hardcore mode. Okay, two tourists returned home safely in our tourist program. That's unusual, but I'll take it as long as it means we can go to the moon today, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. Science data from space around Kerbin sounds like it's easy and pays well. Let's do that.
sort of wishing I had struts right about now, but I don't, uh, because things is sagging a little bit, and it'll be fine. Once we juice them up, they'll be pushing in the other direction, then they'll be both twisting in. It's it's all fine. I'm just, I'm telling you, it, it's gonna go really well. Valentina is going to be the first person to get near the moon and just sort of wave at it. That's all we want from you, Val, okay? Don't bring any tourists with you. Don't try and do anything fancy. You're sort of developing a bit of a history here, girl, and in case you're wondering, and you're new to this, 64-bit glitch, okay? Don't worry, it's not really there, it just looks like it's there. I'm not cheating. Not cheating. Let's F5 for safety, and in three, two, one, Houston, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Pawn. I was wondering if you were gonna steal my job. No, 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 please, go ahead. No, no, I mean, if you think you can count backwards from three as well as I can. No, 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 Houston, I'm sure. I mean, I only studied at university for six years to get this job. Houston, Houston, I'm sorry. You count backwards from three better than any man I've ever known. You really think so? Absolutely, Houston. Well, thanks. In four, two, six, go. Thanks, Houston. No problem. Whoa, 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 okay, this is one of them ships that just wants to turn over on you, it wants to turn over on you, okay, it's rather, rather heavy, get rid of that, don't need that, oh, now it's going in the other direction, oh, Val, we have no control, we have no control authority, as the, well, the SRBs are burning, I should not have tried to do anything, I am holding down S and D on the keypad as hard as I possibly can, as though the amount of pressure and force that I put on it is going to change whether we move up on the bull. Don't you all do that, don't we all? Okay, well, we got this, we got 6.3 kilometers out of that and then we started spinning out completely and out of control okay something is is not good I think we just need to launch this again um, but it's hardcore mode so I can't just revert can I uh, Val uh, yeah that's the sound that is it symbolizes your future oh god that's ugly somebody fix the city lights please okay I guess what I'm gonna do is deploy my chute can I turn the altitude up and just get it to pop? There we go. Okay, we've popped the chute. The chute is now acting as a... Oh, wow, that's a lot of G-forces. The chute is now acting as a drogue. Um, at three kilometers, we're coming down at 25 meters per second. If we can just find flat ground down there, then I can set this thing down and, and not get Valentina killed. If this thing falls over and she's in it, oh, God, that's a sign of things to come. Omens, omens everywhere. Ah, ah, do you hear the birds? Do you hear them? Oh, God, where's where are the explosions even coming from? I didn't even have that much stuff on this thing that I dropped. Oh, you know what? We've got a natural steam geyser down there. It blows off every couple of minutes. I did have five for safety, um, but I shouldn't use that. That could be considered a little cheaty. A little in hard mode? It could be considered a lot cheaty. Yeah, it could. Because it is. All right, all right. Um, I've just got to figure out a way to keep Val alive. That's all. Um, anyway, if she dies, it's just her comeuppance for killing all those tourists. Okay. You're getting close now, Val. You're getting close. I'm just going to keep an eye here on the radar altitude. Bearing in... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Why did it suddenly go a lot faster? Did we lose... No, 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 not that. Did we lose the parachute? No. Why are we suddenly... What, what the hell with the radar thing? And what is your problem, City Lights? Uh, don't bother me now. I'm in the middle of trying to save a woman's life. Um, okay. More, 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 more. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. We'll just set it down like this. We will set it down like this. No, 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 no. There, there, no. Okay. Right dead on top of the ball. Dead on the top of the ball. No, 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 no. Hey! There was no explosion at the end of all of my nopes. That was really off-putting. I didn't expect that to happen at all. These are wonderful little um, ground landing things. They weren't helping us, like, go up, so, um... They saved your life, Val! <laughs> you should go out and sign those, girl, because I thought you were a goner. Say, as long as we're here, I don't think we've gotten materials base from Kerbin's Shores. No, we haven't. We haven't gotten anything from Kerbin's Shores. Come on, open this up. Let's grab some... Oh, God, now everything's going to explode. <laughs> Observe the mystery goo. Nothing explode. I'm just I'm just gathering some science before we leave. Crew report from here? We didn't have that crew report? How did we not just walk a little bit out here from the space station and get this... Well, that's, that's career mode for you. Hatch is obstructed. Can't exit. I, I can't change that. Um... And I'm just a little bit 
I'm a little bit afraid to do anything else, so uh, let's just call that a day. You know, we got some science, and Vale is not dead. So, uh, banner, banner day. Managed to recover 12,000 funds of that, so it was a pricey thing, but it didn't cost a, a Kerbal their life, so I'm gonna say that it's not that pricey. Let's go back to the VAB. I don't, I don't know if I want to change anything, to be honest. I think I just need to not try to touch it until it gets up in the air. Houston, we're all sorted over here. Another countdown? Liftoff in orange. Dog. Tree. Thanks, Houston. Yep. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I let- Oh no, it's- we're out of fuel! That's why, you fool! I was- I thought- yeah, thing. Oh, good. Oh, that's perfect. There we go, we've dropped back into the atmosphere, that's what I always wanted. There, come on, come on, go up, 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 back out of atmosphere. Wow, it's really jarring when that nice, pu beautiful space music just suddenly cuts out on you. It's like, ah, da, 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 da. You're screwed, you're screwed, you're screwed, you're screwed. There's our target. We've circularized and we've got a hundred units of liquid fuel remaining in the tanks. I say we go around this bowl one more time and leave for the next. What do you say, Houston? Yeah, okay. Line the moon up on the edge of the horizon. As soon as we see it rise from the ship, will take off. Just not because that's a rule or anything, just because it's romantic that way. It's just, you know, it's me and Valentina, it's our first, you know, trip to the moon in hardcore mode. I don't know if we have enough liquid fuel to get there. I'm not exactly sure how that tra translates to Delta V in this ship, but, um, we're trying anyway, you know, and, um, trying is, is the only path to succeeding, um, as Valentina will tell you, uh, you occasionally have to break a few eggs. By eggs, I may mean tourist skull pans, but uh, you know, it's the only way to get there, really. Okay, hey, we made it to the moon, and we've got 20 units of liquid fuel to get home. We're just flying by today, so this is perfect. Val, you've done it. You've succeeded. Everything is going to go fine. Don't say those things. Your chickens have not hatched yet. Go back to the roost. Before we get too far away, I would like to get some outer space of Kerbin data. So, crew report me. Uh, space high over Kerbin. That's new data for me. Uh, did I bring extra? Yes, I did bring extra goo containers. Observe mystery goo. Uh, in space high over Kerbin. That's worth another nine. Oh, the science is flowing in now. We have entered the moon's sphere of influence. Yeehaw, we've got a periaps of 91 kilometers. That's really good, actually. That is really good. I might just try and lower it before we get any closer. If you wouldn't mind finding your retrograde for me, Val. Could take a lot of electricity to do that. Okay, that's enough. I'll handle it from here, Val. I will handle it from here. You just, you burn incredible amounts of electricity anytime you do a maneuver. Okay, so let's see if we can't drop that periaps a bit. Okay, I've got a periaps of eight kilometers. Beautiful, brilliant. It is time to pop some more goo. That's, that's, we've got to find another way to say that. Um, goo popping right now. 
Well, in space, high over the moon, the goo feels right at home here. As well it should. As well it should. This is definitely moon goo. This is moon goo territory. The moon goo. A uh, noble tribe uh, from the regions of the moon and the goo. Moon goo. Oh, wait, we needed um, a crew report from that place as well. Oh, but I can't have it. I can have one or the other. And I can't generate any more electricity, and I don't think I'm going to transmit any. So, yeah. Forget the crew reports. Forget the crew reports. We'll be back. We'll be back.